What's going on guys? All right, so today it's finally come. The day has come that my lithium iron phosphate raw cells have come in the mail from China. I got eight 150 amp hour cells. I'm gonna make a 24 volt battery pack to go along with the 24 volt inverter charger uh, combo that I bought as well. I'll show you that a little while later, but today today's gonna be all about building this battery. And uh, I guess let's get to it. All right, so we got the boxes. I'm gonna put this on a time lapse and I will unbox these and I will set them out right here. It's a little wet and rainy outside, so I'm gonna do this inside. Nova's right here with me. She says hi. Hey guys. All right, let me put it on the time lapse and we'll get this done. All right, so. <sighs> We have eight, focus, 3.2 volt, 150 amp hour batteries, and Nova wants some attention. Hey, puppy. Okay, so if I was gonna make a 12 volt battery, this would turn into a 300 amp hour bank, but since it's going to be a 24 volt, battery it will be a 150 amp hour 24 volt battery um we'll have to run that in series so you want your cells so that on one side it would be negative positive negative positive negative positive all the way down so let's go ahead and arrange them so the black represents the positive on these batteries and the uh i guess that's a tan color represents the uh, negative and there we go uh, <clears throat> came with the big nice thick bus bars these are uh, tinned copper bus bars um, okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this 3m VHB tape it's double-sided sticky tape and then I'm gonna stick all these cells together and I will put that on a time lapse for that. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got them VHB taped into two pairs because in my battery compartment, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have it going in a straight line like this, or if I'm gonna do the configuration where it looks like this. So I haven't decided that yet, so I haven't finished up the VHB. We just have to see how space and everything goes together in the compartment where I'm gonna put this. Um, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make these balance lead cables for my uh, battery balancer and uh, I will be back. All right, so what I did is I took eight strands of wire, cut them about to the same length, and then I am going to take the eight strands of wire and I'm gonna connect them to these eight wires with some solder, some heat shrink, and then once I get them on the battery measured, I might snip these a little bit shorter and put in the connectors on the ends so that I can put them down to each terminal so that I can measure the resistance of every battery, or I mean every cell, and also the voltage individually. And I will be back.
All right, so I got the battery light laid up here, and it's in series. That meaning that um, positive, negative, positive, negative, all the way down. Um, it is not recommended to use a wrench that is not insulated because if you touch between these terminals, you can short it out. Sparks will come flying. 3.30, 3.30, 3.30, 3.30, 3.30, 3.30. Three point three zero and 3.30. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the bus bars. First cell negative is going to have a negative and a positive on it, and the rest will, um, will fill up the rest of the positives. Okay, so I got all the bus bars back on here, um, and I have the washer and the lock nut in between, and they're nice and tight now. So I'm going to go back to the balance lead thing, all right? And so we got the first cell negative, first cell positive, and then the very next wire, second cell positive to the third cell positive. Fourth cell positive is right here. Cell positive. Sixth cell positive. Seventh cell positive. And then eighth cell positive. Which is our main positive what's going on guys all right welcome back um so now i have we built the battery all of the balance leads are still hooked up i have my multimeter um, stuck in on the positive and negative over here and i have the positive going to a 300 amp resettable breaker and to the positive of the 24 volt inverter negative going over here um and we got the balance leads you can see all of the cells there we got 26.2 volts and then just for safety measures i put a ground to this cart so it's all grounded out i have a little heater plugged in right here and we are going to start the bottom balancing so i'm going to turn on this heater I'm going to start draining this battery down, and uh, once it gets down to close to about 2.9 volts per cell, then I will stop it. I will use the balance, uh, the balancer over there to go ahead and finish off the balance so that once that is done, um, I can hook up the BMS whenever it gets here, and the battery will be good to go. All right, so let me start this test, and I'll be back. All right, so a little bit of math tells us that 2.9 volts per cell times 8 is going to equal out to... 23 that's kind of a glare on there it's going to work out to 23.2 volts um, with no load on the inverter so we just have to let this heater go and uh, it's probably going to take a while so uh, I'll be back so now I have it disconnected from loads and I am letting the balance uh, meter do its job for the last little bit and once that is done the battery will be all balanced and good to go and then I'm gonna charge it up. All right, so we got a box built for my battery bank. Um, I got a hole drilled for my main positive, and I'm trying to sort out right now where I'm gonna be putting my fuse on the box. Cause I'm gonna mount the, the fuse for the box right here, and I'm thinking about mounting my shunt um, either over here or possibly over here i don't know i haven't decided yet but i just wanted to show you guys how far we got so so far um the batteries are still balancing um but just trying to get ahead of it and get this done so i can start charging this bad boy all right i'll be back so for these particular cells they come with these very 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 short um bolts so what i did is <clears throat> Went to my local hardware store and I got the exact same thread bolt but a longer one and then I just used my grinder after I measured it 
to cut off the excess. So now for my main positive and negative, I've got plenty because I, I, I screwed the, the bolt all the way down into the cell. So it's, it's got all the bite it can get. And then I'm just tightening stuff down on top of it. So there's a little trick right there, guys. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you've got any questions, hit me up in the comments below. See you in the next video.